Hey everybody, Sarah Gomez from Geek Plus here. I have a question for you. Are all warehouses created equal? Well, you can let us know after you watch this video in the comments below because I have something super cool to show you today. We are going inside a Geek Plus Pop Pick System Warehouse where you'll get a first hand look at the Mac Daddy of all goods to person picking systems. So if you are ready to increase your efficiency by up to 300%, come along with me. Let's go. Whoa, this door is so heavy. All right, here we are at the loading dock. This is where the trucks come and they bring the merchandise on pallets through this area and we move over to the depalletizing zone. So here we have a bunch of boxes wrapped in on a pallet. So one of the great things about Pop Pick is its versatility, right? So we can keep these things on pallets for B2B business, but we can also break it down because Pop Pick is able to do piece picking as well. So the variety of things Pop Pick can pick is simply amazing. Small things like office supplies, large things like pieces of furniture. Wow, look at this place, isn't it amazing? All right, I have another big surprise for you. So, it's super early in the morning, around six o'clock, and operations have not started yet. So usually, for safety concerns, we can't go back there with the robots, but today, I'm gonna take you back, show you the racks and the layout of the warehouse, and we're gonna get to see those bots. Come on. Look at these guys. Aren't they beautiful? So these are our P1200 robots. They are capable of carrying 1,200 kg. They can work 24 seven because our robots don't need to rest. In fact, they only need 10 minutes to recharge the battery. Can you believe that? Aren't they beautiful? They don't need light, they don't need heat, and they keep working. Let's go see the rack. Let's take a closer look at the racks. So one of the things that Pop Pick really excels at is storage density. You can get four times the storage density. Look how high these racks go. There are three columns and 10 rows of totes. It goes 3.7 meters high to be precise. We are saving storage in every possible way. There are only two centimeters between totes and because humans don't have to handle the totes, we save space right here and give you a little deeper tote. Now, because there are two lines of totes, we have 60 totes in only one rack. Now, let's open one of these totes and look inside. One interesting thing about Pop Pick is that it's able to handle super, super fragile merchandise like these beverage bottles because the racks are so stable and the robots are so smooth. Uh, it has no problem carrying very fragile merchandise across the warehouse floor. I wanna show you one quick thing. So this is the robot charging station. It takes a robot only 10 minutes of charging for three hours of work. Can you believe that? That's so crazy. So when the robot needs recharging, it leaves the fleet and it comes here and charges. There are no interruptions to the workflow. The other robots will simply take over. It's no problem. Can you believe? only 10 minutes for three hours of work. Let's leave the piece picking area and head to the pallet picking area, come on. One of the great things about Pop Pick is that our P1200s are able to take the entire pallet directly to the station for picking. What makes Pop Pick so flexible is that you are able to pick from a pallet or directly from a tote. 
You know, what also makes PopPick super flexible is its ability to handle retail. You can see those refrigerators behind me. PopPick is designed to deal with temperature controlled items like those inside a refrigerator. Temperature sensitive products, time sensitive products, think products that spoil quickly. The system takes a first in, first out approach and everything is traceable by RFID barcode. The system is able to handle both B2B and B2C in the same warehouse. The robots can bring a huge pallet order to the workstation just as quickly as it can bring a few pieces in a tote. PopPick is designed to handle all sized items from a small package of chewing gum to a large package of detergent. It's even designed to handle those small, fragile little bottles used in cosmetics. Our racks also have the ability to handle hung clothes, boots and shoes on the same rack. Think smart inventory management. Dynamic slotting puts a like styles on the same rack. So say the warehouse just received a huge shipment of winter long sleeve shirts. The system will put all the colors and sizes of that style shirt on the same rack for maximum hit rate. Seasonal changes are a breeze with dynamic slotting. The system can locate all of the old season SKUs and put them on one rack so that they can be sent away and dealt with, leaving space in the warehouse for the new season merchandise. For our 3PL clients, we know you have to keep operating costs low while adapting to a constantly rotating list of clients. PopPick is designed to change the parameters of the warehouse easily. Robots can be sent to work in different parts of the warehouse in just minutes. No problem if you need to add or subtract a client. Storage density is also a huge plus for 3PLs. You can even have multiple clients in the same area. To put it simply, PopPick offers 3PLs high throughput while at the same time keeping profit margins high. Boxes are brought from the staging area here. These boxes will be scanned for put away. Now, they can be new goods or in the case of e-com or apparel, they can be return goods. So, Pop Pick doesn't need a separate area for sorting. You can have reverse logistics, inbound sorting, all in one area. So at night, when the workers are sleeping, our robots go to work and they start to rearrange the warehouse based on our order forecast. Now, our robots will start to bring the racks to the Pop Pick station, and Pop Pick will start to rearrange the totes based on tomorrow's outbound forecast. So the items that usually go out on, say, a Monday will be put on the same rack and similar items that are often sold together, like toothbrush and toothpaste, will also be put in the same tote for outbounding the next day. But our system goes even one step further with ABCD rearrangement. So those hot items that are really selling big are going to be put at the front of the warehouse and those D items, last season's items or stuff that needs to be put in storage, they go to the back of the warehouse. So our system is working even when workers are sleeping. No heat, no light, 24-7. Finally, we've arrived at the Pop Pick picking station. This is where the entire system comes together for maximum efficiency. Let me show you. So here we have picking stations, one on the right and one on the left. In some cases, you can have dual pickers picking simultaneously. The height of the table is ergonomically designed, so it's not too high and it's not too low. Now, as we're standing here, we can see that the robots are bringing the totes to the back of the pot pick system. Then, the the system will retrieve the tote and give it to the picker for picking. 
there's a special safety mechanism in place. So if the worker reaches too far back into the system, the entire system will shut down for safety. Once the picker completes the pick, he can verify it on the screen. So what we see on the screen is the seamless software integration of RMS, WMS, and Geek Plus picking system. At a glance, you can see your entire warehouse in real time in an easy and understandable way. Here, you can see our dual picking system where in some cases you can have somebody picking on the left side and somebody picking on the right side. Now this is usually B to C piece picking that is coming from this pot pick workstation. Or if you're looking more B to B, we can see our picking robot bringing an entire pallet this way so that the picker can go directly and pick from the pallet. <laughs> This wonderful picking robot can carry 1,200 kgs of goods right to the side of the picking station. So a picker can do piece picking, but also pallet picking all at the same time. Well guys, we've come to the end of our tour. We really hope that you've enjoyed it. Please comment down below and tell us what you liked. And more importantly, give us any questions you have so that we can answer them in the next tour. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us.